I don't believe in hating people just because you can group them in a category as black or Jewish or elite. So I, I know for many people in the chat, they just instinctively hate elites, right? Those people are no longer human, right? Once you destroy the humanity of a group, you will then start to become okay with the uh, mass genocide. So I hate it when uh, people deny the humanity of, of others simply because they live in a city. I, I've got a, a friend who believes that people who live in city are just useless firewood. They're, they're only fit for the ovens. Okay, I loathe that type of thinking. I, I loathe the type of thinking that people in New York are useless or people in Japan are useless or people in Australia are useless or people in any geographic locale or ipso facto lose their humanity because you just despise them. I strongly object to instinctual hatred for those that you can put into a category called elite. I loathe instinctive hatred for people who are working class or instinctive hatred for the middle class. I, I loathe instinctive hatred of people based on religion, race, geography, sex. I loathe this type of thinking. So yeah, I have a really strong reaction. So when many of you in the chat, you just hate the elites, you hate them with such a passion, Let's be honest, you want them dead. You want you know, mass slaughter, and I hate that attitude. I hate those people who, who push the removal of all that is human from groups they don't like. So if it's the, the bourgeoisie or the proletariat or the elites, you push hatred, I'm strongly opposed to that. But just on the basis of geography and just on the basis of social class, you push a hatred that verges on genocidal. I, I'm opposed to that. I think it's loathsome. And I think that you're a deeply twisted, troubled person who needs to think that way, that the way that you find some relief from your anxiety is that you get to say, oh, these vast swaths of people, these millions of people, they don't deserve to be treated like human beings. I'm just going to regard them as bacteria, bacteria that needs to be cleansed. They're just useless firewood. They're only fit for ovens. I loathe that type of thinking. You're a sick, twisted, disgusting person if you, if you think that way, that you just take vast swaths of humanity and just say, oh, they're not human. Screw them. I hate them. Let them all die. Yeah, I don't think that's, uh, that's a good way to live. And I, I know why you do it. It's how you cope with your fear. This is how you cope with your anger. This is how you cope with your frustration at losing in life. You don't want to look at your life. You don't want to look at these festering, gaping, open wounds in your life. You don't want to look at the blood and the pus oozing out of your life. You don't want to look at your own failure. You don't want to look at your own inability to maintain relationships. You don't want to look at your own ability to earn money. You don't want to look at your own inability to attract a woman who wants to have sex with you. No, you want to cope. You want to deal with your anxiety. You want to deal with your own feelings of frustration and failure. You want to deal with this dark realization that you have at two in the morning that you're a total loser. And how do you deal with that anxiety? How do you deal with your fear? How do you deal with your apathy? You support the mass slaughter of millions of people. You support denying the humanity of all sorts of other groups. And it's just so convenient for you that you're able to find people who are winning at life. And now you can put them in the category of these people are elite. Therefore, they don't have humanity. Therefore, we need not have any regard for them. Therefore, we can regard them simply as useless firewood, fit only for the ovens. Right. And, and how's that working out for you? Is that making those internal voices go away? Are you able to have a good night's sleep now? Is that enabling you to earn more money? Does that make you more productive? Does that make you happier? Does that make you more socially well-adjusted? Is that launching you onto your artistic career? Is that enabling you to start a business? Are you able to write beautiful poetry with that kind of hateful, genocidal, blind malevolence? Right. You get temporary relief from hating whole groups of people because your own life is a failure, because your own life doesn't work, because you can't sustain living in a community, because you're not able to maintain friendships, because you're not able to find someone of the opposite sex who wants to have sex with you because your mother ignores you and your father has contempt for you and your siblings don't want to talk to you and you think, oh, I can deal with that. I can cope with that pain by 
oh, there's this whole group of people who are winning at life. I'm going to call them elites and I'm going to regard them as bacteria. And, and you think that's going to be the way out. That you can just ignore the gaping, oozing, pus filled wounds that are obvious all over your life. But you can just distract yourself with blind hatred online about this horrible group of people who are building something with their lives, who are succeeding in their lives, who are creating something, who are contributing something, who are developing things, who are innovating, and you think you can distract yourself from your own failure by saying, oh, these productive citizens, they're elite, and they're not really human.